Hi guys! Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about strangers. Not in the stay away, you are going to get murdered way. Although I do think that I nearly got abducted once by a man in a white van trying to find his puppy. But more in the sense of how we perceive each other. I guess. I started thinking about this the other day when I was in Toronto. I was stopped waiting to cross the road and just as I was about to continue on because the light had changed, the guy next to me asked if I knew where Wellington was. I don't know if everyone gets stopped often, but I do. Frequently. And most of the time I'm flattered because I think, wow, I must look like a friendly face and also that I know what I'm doing because out of all people they chose to stop me. I don't know what it is about the way that I dress or I walk or the way my face falls when I'm absentmindedly strolling to class, but it must be welcoming because I often find myself the target of spontaneous interactions. And some of these interactions, uh, they feel like traps. A perfect example I can think of is from when I was living in Bath. I was at the train station waiting for my train to London and I was sitting on a bench with all my stuff next to me and I was just about to put my headphones in when an old woman approached where I was sitting. Being the polite, courteous human being I am, I moved my stuff and allowed her to sit down next to me, and then I continued towards my ears with my headphones, and just as I was nanoseconds away from freedom, she thanked me. So, you know, I said, oh no, no worries, uh, blah blah, whatever. And uh, I got trapped into a very detailed conversation about her life. It was nice to meet you, Caroline, and I'm really sorry about your pension. I don't mind talking to strangers, though, uh, so long as it's not a forced interaction. Even exchanging a few words in the security line at the airport feels, I don't know, nice? I mean, it's not that I look at people on the streets and expect every single one of them to be terrible, horrible human beings, but until I actually talk to someone and see that we are more similar than I think, they're just people. But exchanging a few words or a laugh with somebody that I've never met before and most likely will never see again just kind of gives me hope. I realize that we are really similar and that they're probably not going to murder anyone today. Yeah, sorry, I had to get out of that soppy bubble that I was in. And the moral of all of this is that I am usually the most charming person walking down the street, which is why I attract the most lost travelers. Nailed it. Okay. And on that note, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Do you hear those humans making so much noise? I'm on the second floor, which is basically the third floor. And all the windows are closed.